guys welcome back to my channel my name is Misha and today is Tuesday I'm exhausted I'm behind on content I haven't filmed the next letter on my Hoya alphabet series if you follow my channel you know that I have been moving and I'm exhausted I don't think I've had a day off since the move because as soon as I get off from work I I start unpacking and most days I just cry because I'm so overwhelmed and I water my plants for the first time on Saturday so that was a little bit of relief and time with my plants and I'm still struggling with thrips which mm, that's um, really annoying honestly I poison like I use poison before I, I, I said I brought them over I lost so many plants during the move because of them because I didn't want to bring affected plants you know and I just wanted a, a fresh start so I honestly believe that I lost pretty close to 16 plants during the move and they weren't doing well they were infested and I didn't want to I didn't have it in me to fight for them anymore and so yeah so my collection is a little smaller and I do have an unboxing. This is a I'm happy in my new home unboxing. And it, it is from Gardino. So I was really overwhelmed and Phil decided to give me a planty gift, which I appreciate. He's not right here, he's not here right now, but you know, I'm gonna thank him very much when he comes home. He's, he has a lot of work too. <laughs> like, I think we're both so overwhelmed. But I can't remember how many plants are here. Um, they're very cool plants that have been on my wish list for some time. And I'm surprised that, you know, they were available because if you know anything about Gardino's nursery is um, that it's really hard to get plants from their restocks, you know? So I'm glad I think there's like two or three on this box, but we'll see. And I'm, I'm just so tired, but I'm going to do this because it's something exciting. I haven't even like had time to myself. Like I just, I, I can't even think. So how about if we just get started? Um, and like I said, I can't remember the names, but Gardino is so good about, you know, putting the name tags on them. So, and I believe the order, I can't remember when it was placed. I think it was in the mail just a couple of days, which that was great. I think I saw the email a couple of days ago and it arrived today and today's Tuesday the 19th. So, let's just check it out. I'm going to turn you around so that you guys can see when I unbox it. And that way you guys let me know what you guys think and see everything from the get-go. Um, okay, so hold on. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see. Okay, I put the little, you know, mat for... Um, for repotting which I have to do so many repotting um, chores I don't even know what I just said <laughs> I'm so tired guys um, I told Phil we're just you know there's another neighborhood that I love just slightly bit more but sadly we're just gonna die here in this neighborhood because I love I do love this neighborhood so much, and I'm so happy, but I'm never moving again. No way, Jose. 
Okay, so this is what I see when I open it. Let's see. So here's one. Let's see if I can just take all the popcorn without taking in. <laughs> okay, so at least there's one plant. Let's see, let's keep going. There's two, two plants. Okay. Three, I was right. Okay. Three plants. And no more. Okay, so that's how they pack everything. Let me see if I can bring you along just a little bit higher so that you guys can see when I see it. This one's small. I wish they had like a receipt, but I don't see one. Uh, which one's this one? Okay, so this one is Hoya Elliptica. And this is how it looks, which I'm surprised because Hoya Elliptica is one that does not travel well. But this one looks pretty darn good, I think. And it has new growth points. Let's see. Let's take this off and see. These ones are going to go into my IKEA greenhouse. That's my to-go um, location for new plants, to be honest with you. It's the one that um, currently has the most humidity. I ended up um, adding things to make it so. Um, so that no nothing gets, you know, no air gets out. I do air it out, air it out um, every other day or so. Ooh, this is dry. And the leaves are pretty thin and soft. So I'm going to give it a good drink of water. And it seems like it's two plants. So, okay, Hoya Elliptica. It's the plant number one. Let me do the second one. You know what? Let's do this one last. Let's do this one. Ugh. I did lose one of my Hoyas, the Carmelier. I was so bummed. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. I just need to order another one when I can. Wow, I'm honestly gonna surprise how small they are. Um, this one's Hoya Bertie Salada Heart Shape. Let me take this off, but look, this is how it looks so far. Let me take all this off so that you can see it properly. Honestly, I'm surprised because sometimes Gardenos definitely shocks you with like really good um, bigger plants, but this just looks like more um, less mature um, plants, which is okay. And I can't remember how much they are, but you know, it's not about that at this point. I'm just happy to have them. And happy to focus on new plant babies because I lost so many. Thankfully, none of the ones that I lost, aside from the Carmelier, um, they were not Hoyas, only one Hoya. Um, but this is how it looks. And then let me see if it focuses on this. Let me see. And a new growth point. But when I look at this and i look at the splashes i do love it um this one is dry too which you know they will all get a good drink of water but hoya verticillata heart shaped leaves okay last but not least 
I think this one was probably the most expensive one. Let's see. Oh, and it has a new link that is not going to make it. So this one is Hoya Kalimantan and that veining. Oh my gosh. I think that I saw this Hoya featured at um, Gusty's Plants and I loved the veining. And I wanted to ask him for a cutting but his is very small so I wasn't going to do that um, and we are doing a swap soon um, I was going to wait until I'm more situated but I'm honestly ready for a swap and not have to worry about spending I had actually placed an order for an imported um, order and I could not go through with it. I made the purchase and I actually, um, Hoya Calistophila Calimantan. And this is, I know it's gonna be backwards, but um, I wonder if, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but this one, I guess because it's a more expensive Hoya, they only send one cutting. Usually they have, they're more generous with what they send. But this is a beautiful Hoya, and I'm all about veining. And this one, it's, you know, also dry. So they're all gonna get some good watering. So let me get you back up here, hold on. Okay, so, so okay, so I'm here. So this is actually pretty beautiful. It's kind of hard to like, show you guys and this is such a juvenile form at this point but the veining is just unbelievable and that new baby leaf if it doesn't make it i'm not gonna be surprised um sometimes in transient that's what happens but i was so focused on showing you guys that i was not enjoying how beautiful they actually are I'm happy about this and I was speaking to Rachel because all my propagations that are you know gonna be going up for sale they're ready they're more than ready so I was asking Rachel hey do you want to make extra money and run the Etsy shop <laughs> but these are the three Hoyas that are my new babies and um, as soon as I'm able to, I'll, you know, work on the Hoya Alphabet series, which I truly love. I love filming it. Um, I've just been too tired. And right now I just need to water this plant and take a nap or just lay down. I'm not a nap person. My body does need the nap, <laughs> but I, I can never sleep. During the day, I can never sleep. Mentally, I'm thinking if I sleep now, I'll never sleep at night, you know, but um So yeah, I which one was your favorite? I Honestly Can't pick a favorite They're all three of them are so beautiful This one I was gonna get a larger one from a friend But I didn't get back to her soon enough and she had to sell it um and then by the time she had a, a second one, I just could not do it at that particular time. Um, I go through periods where I sometimes just don't want to get any more plants. I want to enjoy the ones that I have. And also the house has been a large expense. I feel like I'm spending hundreds a week on little things, you know, not even big things. And we haven't even completed to furnish the home and as soon as i'm done i will do a um a tour on it and when i purchase the appliances i i purchased smart um washer and dryer which is pretty cool it's um touch screen and 
the refrigerator feels in love with it the one i purchased if um you leave the door open it'll text you and uh, if you keep the door open for too long it'll tell you hey shut me off <laughs> like but like you know it just starts beeping and alerting you which is pretty cool but um when it comes to furnishings and things i'm trying to get things that look more to the vintage side and a lot of antique stuff so we'll see and but that's gonna be it for now i just want to thank you so much for tuning in i'm going to water these babies and put them to get some humidity and some um, good lighting um and yeah that's it until next time bye guys <laughs>